In order to remove your screen, you may have to loosen the screw that raises the wheel on the bottom of the track. Once loosened, roll the track wheel over a flathead screwdriver until it's underneath and pry it off the track. Once you get both wheels off the track, you should be able to drop the screen out and remove it. All right, in step two, we're gonna take the protective tape and lay it down on the bottom edge of the screen door, right up against the uh, bottom of the frame. And when you get near the end, take your scissors, and just make a little snip where it would end. Pull it back a little bit, and make a nice straight cut. Alright, for step three, I measured my pet's height to be 23 inches. So for mark one, I'm going to add four inches to that, and that'll be 27. I'm going to put a little piece of tape down so I don't mark on my frame. So mark one, 27 inches, and then I'm going to add one inch for mark two and put a line at 28. Then I'll do this on the other side of the frame as well. Okay, in step four, we're gonna put our first layer of tape up the side all the way to mark two. And the process is the same as the bottom layer. You wanna go right up against your bottom layer, but not over it. And I'll just make a little snip at mark two. Back a little bit. Just some light pressure to hold down. Okay, now we're going to repeat the same steps on the other side of the frame. Step five, we're gonna flip the door over. And we're gonna apply tape right over the top of the existing tape starting at the bottom. All right, step six, we're gonna flip the screen door back over so that the screen is flat against our work surface. Uh, that way, when we apply pressure, we're pushing against the table. So we wanna put nice, even pressure along the tape to activate the adhesive. Okay, push it down into the mesh of the screen. Once you've done that, we'll go ahead and uh, remove the clear liner. Lift it back over and remove the liner from the other side. Okay, in step seven, we're gonna cut through the screen, starting at mark one, and we're gonna cut as close to the tape as we can. Okay, continue your cut all the way around the frame, cutting between the tape and the frame as close to the tape as you can, all the way to mark one on the opposite side.
Okay, in step eight, we're going to add some patches of tape to reinforce the flap uh, where the cut line is so that it doesn't tear during use. So we can remove our marks now. And we're just gonna start at the top of this and overlap the current tape. pressure and then remove the liner. And we're going to repeat that on the other side as well. Trim off any excess screen that might be poking out of the tape. As an optional step, you can remove the excess screen material by popping the spline out and cutting it. Just use a small tool to get it started. Okay, before we install the magnets to the bottom, make sure your frame and tape are clean of dirt and debris. And then take one of the pieces from a magnet pair, and with the magnet pointing up, we're going to place it near the corner on the frame with the top, even with the top of the frame. So let's onto the screen and we have to kind of lift up and pull down a little bit. But you can match up the magnets and then place it on. Once the magnets are properly aligned, go ahead and insert it back into the rack, starting at the top. Use the screwdriver to pop the wheel onto the track. 